Well, once Russia's richest man, imprisoned Kremlin critic and former oil magnate Mikhail Khodorkovsky was sentenced to 14 years in jail, this on a new conviction of embezzling oil. Bloomberg's Elliot Gonkin out in London with the latest on this breaking story. Elliot, good morning. Morning, Carol. Well, you may remember just on uh, Monday, Kordakovsky uh, received that uh, guilty verdict, or certainly the judge started reading out the guilty verdict. Uh, he has laid down his sentence today, as you say, for uh, embezzlement and also for laundering the proceeds. Uh, Kordakovsky was accused of stealing oil from his own oil company, $30 billion worth, and then laundering the proceeds as well. So this sentence, 14 years, according to Kordakovsky's lawyers, will not mean an additional 14 years in jail for the former tycoon. It will mean effectively another seven years because he's already served some seven and a half years in prison already. But even so, that of course means he will remain in that Siberian prison far away from his uh, family until 2017. Uh, his uh, mother, uh, before the, uh, the um, sentence was handed down, uh, said that, uh, described the proceedings as a comedy. And uh, certainly uh, the Russian government has uh, not taken too kindly to the criticism from uh, the likes of Hillary Clinton, U.S. Secretary of State, the German Foreign Minister. In fact, the Russian uh, government's word to critics was, mind your own business. Uh, they didn't take uh, too kindly to that criticism for the way that the Kordakovsky trial has been handled. Many of uh, the Russia's uh, critics have said that this is effectively a vendetta uh, from uh, Vladimir Putin, now the prime minister, former president, uh, for uh, Kordakovsky getting involved in opposition politics uh, before he was jailed. And Putin, of course, eyeing the presidency for 2012 as well. All right, got it. Elliot, thank you so much. Or Elliot Gotkin out there in London.